Hi there everyone, Ollie here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a much requested video. How do you tackle writing your personal statement for medicine? I'm back home now in North Yorkshire after having finished my first year at Warwick Medical School. I'm headed to Belgium for a couple of days tomorrow. So I thought this would be a good video to film while I had the time. So jumping straight in with this, I think before we begin, it's worth remembering that the UCAS form limits you to 47 lines or 4,000 characters of text, whichever comes first. And this is, in practice, quite a bit more difficult to deal with than you'd think. And just know that this is going to mean inevitably going through your personal statement over and over and over again, trying to hit those word counts, but we'll go through that at the end. So what do we need to include? There are a few key things that any personal statement for medicine, as with a personal statement for any degree subject, should include. Essentially, who you are, why you want to be a doctor, what you've done to explore the reality of actually being a doctor, and why you think you'd be suitable. And as long as you include overall those main themes, I think you're going to be fine. But obviously you are here because you're interested in actually putting pen to paper and writing a statement. In terms of approaching the actual writing task, all those themes that we just discussed, I think it's really important to work out the most important things for each of those themes that you want to say and then write them individually and refine them individually. Stitching them all together is a job for the end. And by prioritizing those vital parts that you think are really important, your overall application should be made out of these really strong parts that you've put together and will therefore be stronger as a whole. In fact, right, here's how I think you should start. Write down this list of every core item you want to say. Absolutely do not read anyone else's medical personal statement until you've got your core ideas down. That means you're starting with a completely blank, uninfluenced canvas, and that's really the best way to begin. After you've done that and you've committed them to paper, have a look at some other people's statements, look at the formatting, the way they've laid things out. See what you like and what you don't like. Work out the things that they've said that you maybe haven't said, or things you've said that they won't have said. Just in general, be very wary of copying anything from someone else's personal statement. You are there for inspiration, not for a template. So once you've started working on these core ideas, a really, really important step is to get other people to read it. That can be friends, family, people at your school maybe, your university career service if they have one, even if you know any medical students or doctors, ask if they've got 30 seconds to give it a scan over. On that note, I am personally through this channel, through the website, more than happy to have a look at anyone's personal statement, feel absolutely free to send one in. The main thing is to get as many sets of eyeballs over that piece of paper as possible. Because while most people that are reading it won't really have a clue as to the intricacies and nuances of what you're trying to achieve, they will be able to spot silly mistakes. And speaking of silly mistakes, spelling and grammar is absolutely vital. This is a refined, sculpted document that you've in theory had months to prepare. If you as an admissions tutor have hundreds of nearly identical personal statement scripts to read, you will notice the ones with the obvious mistakes. They will stand out and, in my humble opinion, if it were me, would probably generate some sort of negative inclination. And to me, it's just not worth the potential rejection for the tiny amount of time and checking that these things take to fix. One thing I do recommend above almost anything else when it comes to writing a statement is to be honest. And don't be afraid to be different either. If the way you've written yours doesn't match up to the way all the sample ones you've seen have written theirs, it doesn't matter. If you've said it the way you want to say it, that is what is important. A really sort of nice and unexpected thing that happened for me when I was writing mine, I was in my second year at Newcastle University, so I took it to the careers service there to ask them to have a look over it. And they said at the end of our consultation, after we'd sort of been through it, that when they were reading it, it read in exactly the same way as I would speak it. And they could tell from having met me in that instance that it was definitely me who wrote it. Because I sent my UCAS form off through my sixth form college, uh, when I sent it to my old head of six to read it, he said exactly the same thing. So that was something that I was really happy about in the end, that it was unique and a bit different. And some people I think would get nervous if they heard that, but really, I think it's the best way to go forward. Another really big thing is don't bullshit. <laughs> be as honest as you can possibly be, 
and never feel like what you've written isn't impressive enough. It just doesn't work like that. You know, nothing like when I was 14, someone collapsed in the road in front of me and I performed a perfect coronary artery bypass graft before the paramedics had even arrived. Just if you had these important experiences, say what actually happened and what you learned from it. No more, no less than that. In terms of the overall structure of the document, I think it's really important to have a narrative flow because that will really help to engage the reader. I was exposed to medicine during this time or I had this interest in science or the human body. That led me to investigate X, which led me to look at Y. And reflecting back, this is what I learned about all of this. Tell them the story of that lived experience that we just talked about because that is basically what they've come to hear. After all of this, reflecting on all of this, I think I'd be great for medicine because of this. You need to convince them basically, you're making a logical argument. It's also important to show that you have a life outside of medicine too. So if that can be worked in somewhere, that would be fantastic. I'd really, really urge you to strongly think about doing that because Physician burnout and medical student burnout is something that universities are becoming increasingly vocal about. So I think it's really important that you demonstrate how you'll be able to cope with that stress when the time comes. So just to recap one more time, the sorts of things you'd want to cover, your interest in science and medicine stems from what? Some work experience where you demonstrate that you've been proactive in seeking out good experience, what was good, what was bad, what did you learn? Your suitability for medicine as a candidate going into medical school and your ability to cope with stress somehow. And hand on heart, I firmly believe that if you can get these elements into your work, you should have the same chances as everyone else. So now that you've written the body of your personal statement, again, do these passes for spelling, grammar, punctuation, get all those eyeballs over it. Invite criticism and don't get attached to the particular way in which you've written things. And that's really important because not only does it allow you to reword or restructure things, which we'll talk about in a second, but it also means that when it comes to hitting that character limit at the end, you're going to have an easier time cutting down the letter count. The key thing to focus on is being concise and clear in what you're saying. And that can be really, really difficult. You'll know, obviously, look at me. When I speak, I tend to use a lot of flowery language, long sentences, and I tend to meander a lot more, both when I'm speaking and I'm writing than I maybe should. That sort of wording in the context of writing your personal statement absolutely doesn't work. It's too superfluous. You need it to be short, snappy, and full of meaning. It's all about fundamentally efficiency. When you're having people check, be sure to have them highlight or point out any sentences or phrases where they're not sure exactly what you mean. Because chances are that if the people close to you, that is the friends, family and colleagues that you're asking to review your statement, if they can't understand what you mean, what chance does an admissions tutor who's reading it have? And it should really go without saying, but this also means no colloquialisms or slang. They wouldn't really be professionally acceptable, so don't use them here. And why is all of this so fundamentally important. Why is the personal statement even important? It's because medical schools, while they are obviously not looking for trained professional doctors to take into their medical school program, they are looking for people who they can easily mould into those professionals. So try and display the traits you'd want in your doctors. Honesty, integrity and insight. I think as long as you have those three things going on, you'll be just fine. So that's where I'm going to wrap this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been useful. I'm just going to restate once more. Um, medical application cycle is coming up soon again in October. If you'd like me to look over your personal statement, I'm more than happy to do that. I can't make any promises on turnaround times, but I think it's really important that we start to build that community where we can chat to one another about these things. So just send me an email if that's something you'd like me to do for you. Please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for a ton more free interview and application resources just like this. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye.